saw with LSU against SIUE just collapsing and giving a little too much help, leaving those three-point shooters to be free. Watford's taken two bodies no matter where. It's 11-8. Still early parts of the first half here from St. Louis. Collins, nice drive, addition, a baseline jumper. LSU's got plenty of scoring potential on the roster outside of those two. Darius Days had a heck of an afternoon yesterday. A lot of movement on the baseline for the Billikens here, trying to clear some room. They do inside. Jimmy Bell Jr., a nice head fake. And, then and it's Cameron Thomas. who's like a spring on the inbound, trying to defend it. A nice look to score to keep this team and kind of carry this team, especially if you're going to have us on French out. Collins sprints it down floor. A wide open team. Points here. It's Collins with two today. Dribbles behind his back, picks it up, kicks out. Perkins wants another. I said, I don't know what else there was. So the Billikens get it here on the inbound and back to work they go. Perkins, one more time. Splits him at the free throw line and Yuri Collins and the Billikens have it again with a seven point lead. Inside, Jimmy Bell Jr. kicks out. He's got Perkins. So now it's Jacobs. Jacobs and Perkins go back and forth up top. Billikens have a six-point lead. A nice give and a dish. Perkins loses it. Perkins feeds it up top to Terrence Hargrove. Hargrove back out to Jimerson. Perkins, one more. Tennessee and Kentucky. Goodwin forces to Perkins. A seam up the baseline. Mid-range has as well. How about that feed? Martin Linson in. Sim if he needs to as well. Very similar to a Javante Perkins. Perkins, speaking of him, kicks out. There it is. Jordan plan. Mm -hmm. You're missing that rim protector. Take it to the rim time and time again. That's what LSU has done in the second half. Goodwin feeds. Free throw line to Perkins. Perkins does it. A four-point game now. LSU one more try. Three seconds. A half-court prayer. Cameron Thomas, he's been hot all day. But not 